Yes. Okay. So, hello Lucilla. Hello Robin. Welcome everyone to our exhibition for May, which is quite a long name, Impressions, Flowers and Landscapes in a Moment. And I will get Lucilla Zender to explain exactly why she chose that, that wording, because it's quite lovely, but it, to, I love it when you explain it. So okay. um, do you want to do that now or shall we sort of get started? Get whatever, whatever you like. Tell us about the, the title, because it's lovely. All right, well, the title is um, to demonstrate that I think all of us see things in impressions. We don't see things necessarily in detail or in a simplified form. We see things however they appear at the time. And all of these paintings are my impressions, as in in a, in a glimpse of a moment. And it and certainly that's what's isn't the moment of painting. Yeah, but, um, but it's the memory of the glimpsed moment. And I think that is really beautiful. And this exhibition is beautiful. We open this afternoon. We're running a little bit late with our video, and we can't be long, as you know. And I've said before. We must get this over with in 15 minutes so that it can go to YouTube and the web people can do what they have to do. Also, we do this for one reason only, not because I like my face in front of a camera, because I do not. It's so that people can get a perspective and see the painting in relation to a human being, because our brains work that way. We understand size when we see a hand or a person next to it. Also, we can catch glimpses and moments of these paintings as we walk around. So let's get started. We're going to start with number one, which I just sold like 10 minutes before you got here. And someone came in and just said they knew what they wanted and can I pay for it now? And I'll pick it up in three weeks. How's that? That's <laughs> absolutely lovely. This is, this is one of two. This is uh, Impressions from My Travels 1. And across the room is Impressions from My Travels 2. And these are both the really simplified versions of an image where everything is just um, reduced into colours and shapes. It's beautiful. Is there a particular place of travel or is it in your heart head? It's a combination. Okay. It's a combination. Fabulous. Because I did say I would find out. So yes. you can tell me later exactly okay. where you I think that might have been, where your head was, what space it was in then. Okay. Now, the next one is totally different. It's a different colour, it's pale. These two together, I think, complement each other beautifully, but they're a different palette. So, so I think every painting and every moment calls for something different. I'm not married to a particular way of seeing things yeah, and different things strike, like. strike me as beautiful for different reasons. And this, these are really for the absolute simplification of what is there and the exclusion yeah. of some of the colours and exclusion of some of the shapes um, yeah. and in particular with this one uh, playing with a combination of something that's sort of real where there's tone and structure and depth but also a really design symbolic component where it's just a symbol mm. of a flower not a real flower. It's beautiful and you know what else I like about your paintings and I see it a lot particularly in the still life which a lot of these paintings are it's great to see the vase or the arrangement not dead centre in the middle or just to one side. Right. You've chopped them often. Yes. And I like that. You know, if you look around and when you have, if you have a catalogue or when now this exhibition is opened, you'll be able to see it all online. You'll see that Lucilla does often crop the top of the paintings. And I like to think that the picture continues beyond what you can see. It's like yes. a scene from a window. A lot like Aboriginal paintings, they are much the same. Okay. You know, if you ask a, a, an Aboriginal artist, you know, well, you know, put, well, should we stop it here? Or no, 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 you can't stop it there because it just keeps going. Yes, and that's yes. exactly the same. Same philosophy. You have to leave room yeah. for the imagination to continue. You do. Now these two here, I think, I'm they're nearly everyone's favourites. They make a beautiful pair, and I had to hang them together. So, these, and do you, I want you to explain Otway's and Joanna Manor. So, so these are a pair, and yes. these are almost oh. the opposite of the two that we just looked at. So these are Kate's view of Joanna Manor. Kate is a very good friend of mine. Friend. Okay. She went on holidays to the Otway Ranges and sent me a video of the most extraordinary views of a private farm there with just oh. these beautiful overgrown gardens and flowers and light shining through the flowers and hills in the distance. 
and I, with her permission, have painted my version of those, which is always, it's quite different to the real thing, but and it's definitely from there. Do you know this, uh, one thing I want to point out to, I mean, obviously it's just my opinion, and, um, but I think that a lot of people would agree that your work is unique and, and you are an individual painter. And I think I wrote about the fact that you're not influenced by passing trends and fashions and fads you you actually paint your painting and that makes you unique and i think that's fabulous thank you robin that's very much my um decision to not uh, not submit myself to any external expectation because i have a serious job outside of this i have a better way of earning income this is something that i'm choosing specifically for my own freedom yeah, and my own and expression and my own pleasure yeah. And for those that don't know, Lucilla is a specialist medical doctor in her other life. So I always say it's sort of like a left brain, right brain thing, isn't it? It is, but they're both visual. I, I yep. process my life through the visual field. It's all yeah. about imagery and here I get to play with images. And for my other work, I get to interpret images on a very serious level. Fabulous. I think that's a lovely analogy and lovely way of describing your... your the split in your, your work life, because you do actually now split it as half painting, half work, pretty well. Something like that. I, so do, I do a bit more of the other work. I do? Than, okay. than the painting work, yeah. Okay, now I want you to tell me about this because this just pops. And on the black background, I bet it pops on the white. I couldn't decide which way to yeah. go with it. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to talk about them both together because these oh, okay. are actually yeah. both exactly the same bars and they demonstrate how the thing that I'm painting and what I actually paint can end up as very, very different things. Yes. So I have a motto in my mind when I walk through my studio and it comes from Dante's Inferno. Oh, yes. So he wrote, um, abandon all hope, you who come through me, yep. or something like that. Yep. And in my, mind, <laughs> in, my, in my mind, I walk through the studio with lose all fear, you who walk through me. So I get into the studio and if I want the bars to be green, it can be green. Yeah. And if I want the orange in a different position, and I, I just transpose that. it. Priscilla, no, there's hardly anyone else that does that. Now there's something else that I want you to explain. Come, but we'll keep going yes. because we need to get through them all. Now this is a, a landscape. This so. Is, so this is also from Kate's view, Johanna Manor. Ah. And all of my paintings have a reference to the real thing. And particularly if there's a friend or a person or a place that has really inspired it. Um, and this is just a sloping forest in Johanna Manor, which I just thought was wonderful. And here I wanted to really simplify the shapes. Yeah, and, it, and it's, it, it, but it's a different sort of simplification to the flowers we looked at at the start. But with this very interesting negative space, where, and I so did question you the did, So you've spoken to me a lot. So these, the paintings where you can see the linen. Yep, and you this can. This is transparent yeah, primed yep. linen that I have chosen specifically because the colour or the absence of colour in the tone is just totally Moorish to me. Yeah. And every time I paint on transparent primed linen and I cover it completely, yeah. I kick myself at the yeah. end of it. Yeah. Because I, I think question, now I yeah. can't see the linen. Does so she realise there's a little bit of linen left there? But oh, obviously. Yes. <laughs> I definitely yes. do. Let's keep moving because we're already past halfway of our, our time. I've got three little ones here and of course I've got to raise this little one here. but. They are just the only this babies is, we've got. This is to show you the relative size. They're tiny. Yeah, these good ones, idea. These ones are um, roses from our vineyard, which is where we used to live. So yes. we've put the kids up on, on farms for the first yes. 10 or four more years of their life. Yeah. And, um, and, and that's something I should, I should interrupt and say. Lucilla hasn't been in Sydney for, for that long. In fact, I probably met you very shortly after yes, you moved. You and, yeah, and so Lucilla is literally a Victorian, aren't you? Well, sort of a combination. Okay, all right. combination. I'll, I'll wear that. Let's quickly go in and out of this one. This is the big, magnificent painting that I keep talking about. So I'll stand next to it to give you an idea of and the size. It's just spectacular. Thank uh, you. Does it have some special me? Is it the same? This is again? the same bars. Yeah, again. Yeah, but look at all the decoration this um, time. And these are roses from a friend of mine and the gum flowers from the local shop. Beautiful. And George has moved across quickly. This, yeah, I know. this is a this is a um, an, another quick glimpse, a bit like the ones from my travels, but with less paint yes. and more of the transparent prime yeah. linen visible. And this is actually a little house in Hampton has the most 
extraordinary front garden. You can't see the house and it is completely overgrown. Oh, I love that. You can't That's even tell house. if the flowers are real or not. Oh. And it is colourful and there are tipped over pot plants. And I just think that's the secret garden. Oh, it is. Let's move. I hate doing this. I hate making you hurry, but it's just one of those those things. We've only got about four minutes. Oh, we're going to have this to one. I think everyone loves it. It's sort of everyone's favourite. I know that we've spoken about it, and you know, it's yes. just it is just beautiful though. And it's a botanical garden. Botanical gardens in gorgeous. Melbourne. It's already sold. So please don't ring about that one oh, because people have. This is probably my favourite, Lucilla. It's got a very Japanese influence. I can see. So, so this is <laughs> this is a vase that my mother bought at an auction in Victoria and sent up to me because I thought it was absolutely well, I love wonderful. It. I just love it is the slightly way. different to the real thing. And another vase. This one, this, this, one, bars, this one, this one, this one, this vase doesn't really exist. So this one really changed from the original, um, and and the flowers again. And, and here I was just play, again playing well, with. The, the symbol of a flower versus the reality of a flower and, it's and a the shapes. fusion of the contemporary and the tradi traditional. That's yes, what I think. It's gorgeous. Yes. You know, that traditional style, but you've put your contemporary stamp on it, which is, again, something I love about your work. No one else paints like you, Lucilla. Don't ever change. Okay, this thank you. This one? Okay, so, you, quickly. so this is, I guess, and I'll put this one together with this one. Yeah, um, to George, if you want to show it down here. So, these two have both got the wiggly lines that I sometimes get into, and in fact, often there are wiggly lines, even though they're not necessarily making up the whole painting. Um, so, again, there's a combination of the real and the imagined, and this too is actually from Johanna Manor in the office. This is a deviation from your previous style, isn't it? These are, I have not seen this sort of. For me, they're not. Oh, for oh, me, okay. for me, I, I, they are all the same thing because they're my hand and my eye, but I can see. Them yeah. from the outside they look oh, different. Okay. Nonetheless, this is beautiful. Thank I, you. So I this put this on to, Instagram and people loved it. This mm. is fit to Manly Walk. Yeah. Um, and this one I painted at the same time as the botanical gardens oh, yeah. that we just went past. Oh. And what often happens is that I'll do two or three yeah. that come out looking like they're in very similar styles because I'm in a moment of oh, it's all painted to to that to paint thing. Well all over the place. They're finishing this one and starting that one. Yes. And, don't have you remember. Now, what can we do? Yeah, this yeah. one, I, I will just quickly let everyone know, it wasn't originally going to be in the exhibition, but I needed to fill this salon wall. It yep. needed a little one. That's all right. Look, these two I can talk about. This one we've already spoken yeah, about, really, similar. because yep. it's part two part of the two. other one. These two little ones are um, really reducing things to so much to the symbolic version of the thing itself it almost doesn't look like itself anymore it is more like a pattern i love that it becomes very two-dimensional on purpose but well, it still has yeah. moments of shadow and moments of of reality that is a beautiful painting the more you look at that the more we um i, I love i love it the last two paintings peaceful, I think. yeah and we haven't spoken about magic reel, which I wanted to ask you about, but very okay. quickly talk about these two landscapes with okay. the trees, and then you can explain the magic reel before we have to close. All off. right, look, these two are um, quite different styles on the, um, on, if you look at them quickly, but then if you look at them closely, they've got exactly the same hand. And in fact, all of the paintings in here and most of my paintings are painted with exactly the same brush. It's all the same, uh, literally okay. the same brush throughout the whole painting. It's the same size. And it is my right hand. Uh -huh. um, this is Moama State Forest, and the tree is the tree in our vineyard that actually has a beautiful long branch that has Which is a, anyway, it is, it? Yeah. Um, a beautiful long branch that has a swing hanging from it. We did it. We got through. Of time, you wanted to ask about magic wheel. Yes, that's to me South American literature. Of course, I was born in Argentina, came here when I was five, and read a lot of um, South American literature where there is a real um, conglomeration of the real, the not quite real, the pretend, the desired, the history and the memories and the future imaginings and it all gets jumbled into one and for me it gets jumbled into a painting it's because honestly, that's how I think. It's like the dreaming, the Aboriginal dreaming, which is very much the same, it's the past, present, future, yeah, all I jumbled up, doesn't matter where it is. It is. I yeah. think it is. How fabulous. We've got to finish. We finish on, uh, the exhibition runs until the 28th, everything will be on sale on tonight online. Thank you so much, Lucilla. It was fabulous. It Thanks is for fabulous. Having me, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Do we go over?